Bowen is off. Thanks for watching CBS North Carolina at noon. We begin with an update to the shooting death of a 20-year-old man in a Raleigh neighborhood Sunday, resulting in charges for a homeowner. Well, today, the victim's family's attorney is calling the suspect George Zimmerman 2.0. It's a story that's gained nationwide attention, and now CBS North Carolina's David Hurst joins us live in front of the family's home with more details. David? Yes, Stephen, the family and their attorney just held a news conference here, and they're drawing parallels to the George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin case. Police say 20-year-old Corin Rodney Thomas was shot and killed by Chad Copley, a man who proclaimed to be a member of the Neighborhood Watch and said he was protecting his home. Copley claims he acted in self-defense, shooting through his garage window and hitting Thomas, who was standing in the street. Before the shooting, Copley called 911 and said there were a bunch of hoodlums outside his home. He told dispatchers he thought some of them had guns and he was going to secure his neighborhood. Today, Thomas's family said none of the men were armed and claimed her son was not dressed like a hoodlum. It happened if there was Caucasian boys skateboarding up and down the street at 1 o'clock in the morning. Were they called hoodlums? These boys was invited to a party, didn't feel comfortable, and they was on their way home. Now, Copley is currently in jail on no bond. He's been charged with first-degree murder. We heard from his attorney this morning. He asked the public to withhold judgment on his client until more facts are made available. We're reporting live in Raleigh. David Hurst, CBS, North Carolina. Dave.